Hawaii Volcano Latest, Archelaua and Guatemala Volcano Connected Exclusive, Hawaii's Mount Kilauea continues pouring lava across Big Island, while the death toll from Guatemala's Volcan de Fuego is still rising after a devastating pyroclastic flow. So are these two volcanic eruptions connected? In Hawaii, the Kilauea volcano on Big Island has now destroyed approximately 600 homes and forced thousands to flee to temporary shelters. The very active Kilauea's activity turned eruptive on May 3, when fissures began spewing tides of lava which wiped out everything they touched. Fortunately, no one has been killed by Kilauea, and only one serious injury has been reported. In Guatemala however, a far more tragic event took place on Sunday. At least 109 people were killed after Volcan de Fuego, meaning Volcano of Fire in Spanish, unexpectedly exploded. The resulting pyroclastic flow, a fast-moving current of extremely hot gas and volcanic matter that pours down volcanic slopes at incredibly high speeds, has buried whole towns and devastated communities. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, Professor of Volcanology at the University of Bristol Catherine Cashman, says not. Professor Cashman said the eruptions are just a coincidence. There's no connection. The two eruptions are entirely different events, caused by different activity and producing such different results explain Professor Cashman. She said, Hawaii is caused by what we call a hot spot. Whereas Guatemala sits on the edge of the Pacific Plate and is what we call a subduction zone, so the origin of the volcanism is very different. A hot spot is defined as a volcanic region which is fed by a stationary plume of magma which rises up from deep within the earth. Whereas a subduction zone is a geological process which occurs at the convergent boundaries of two tectonic plates, where one moves under the other. This crucial difference between the two results in subduction zone volcanoes usually being much more explosive. Professor Cashman said, they are very different types of events. As we have seen over the course of this week, both can result in devastating destruction. But what happened in Guatemala was far more dangerous. Scientists have warned both volcanoes could continue to erupt after Fuego erupted for a second time on Tuesday and Kilauea shows no signs of stopping, as the lava rebuilds the landscape. Could Kilauea have a pyroclastic flow? Professor Cashman reassures us that there won't be a pyroclastic flow at Kilauea from this current activity, however, she warned there could be more to come. The concern in Hawaii is there could be explosive eruptions, she said. Those occur because with all the lava traveling down the rift zone, the lava level at the summit has been dropping. As it drops, groundwater can get into the vent. And of course, if you take water and you very suddenly heat it up it flashes to steam. Kilauea has already seen some of these explosions at the summit. There could certainly be more of those, said Professor Cashman. But those are quite different to the Guatemala situation. Another reason the Guatemala event was so destructive is due to the different shapes of the volcanoes. Fuego is known as a stratovolcano whereas Kilauea is a shield volcano. Professor Cashman said, Fuego is quite dull and steep, so if you launch a flow from the summit, you've got gravity working with you. Kilauea is still moderately high but it's a very flat volcano. Moderately high.